Bramley's preauricular incision. Then after this, the tissues which are overlying the TM joint and temporalis fascia are retracted like so. We will identify the joint and again we are going to make two horizontal osteotomy cut. And then the cut bone is removed and that makes a gap. Now a flap consisting of split thickness of the temporalis muscle along with overlying fascia is elevated. That is, we are using the temporalis muscle and fascia as an interpositional material and this prevents the re-ankylosis. And after this, the soft tissue wound is closed in layers. So, this is the procedure for temporalis muscle and fascia. Now, what are the common interpositional grafts used in TMJ ankylosis? So, we have autogenous graft, allogenic graft, alloplastic graft and 